Senate leadership is working on a final vote in hopes of avoiding a government shutdown before the weekend. That followed a controversial vote in the House to pass the trillion dollar package. WGN's Shannon Halligan joining us with the latest on that. Shannon. Yes, yeah, Senate leaders have less than two hours to pass this funding package. But because of the streamlined process to pass in the House, Speaker Mike Johnson faced criticism. He's now at risk of being ousted. The White House called for the Senate to move quickly to avoid a partial government shutdown. There's no reason uh, for it to not move forward. House leaders approved the $1.2 trillion package of spending bills Friday. It came just hours before funding for some key federal agencies was set to expire. Now the Senate is set to vote before a midnight deadline to push any threats of a government shutdown to the fall. Make no mistake. We had to work under very difficult top line numbers and fight off literally hundreds of extreme Republican poison pills from the House, not to mention some unthinkable cuts. But at the end of the day, this is a bill that will keep our country and our families moving forward. Still, it was no easy task for House leaders to pass the bill. The vote was exceedingly tight, with Republicans angered over the content of the package. You're voting actually to speed up the process of redistribution of illegal aliens who come in, because that's what the funding's going to go for. Because of the passage, hard right House Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia initiated an effort to oust House Speaker Mike Johnson. But this is basically a warning, and it's time for us to go through through the process, take our time, and find a new Speaker of the House that will stand with Republicans and our Republican majority instead of standing with the Democrats. It's the same tool that was used last year to remove the last Republican speaker, Kevin McCarthy. But this one faces steeper odds with less GOP support. Doing things like this obviously uh, make chaos and create uh, unnecessary distractions. The House and Senate are going into a two-week recess for Easter. The Senate has until midnight Eastern time to pass the spending package for President Joe Biden to sign. Live in the newsroom, Shannon Halligan, WGN News.